every system is going to have to do something before 2024. So all systems are going to need to compile their inventory of service line materials. This is going to include both the private side and the utility side. Older utilities are going to have a little bit more to do. So those are systems with lead service lines, galvanized service lines, downstream of lead. They're going to also have to develop a lead service line replacement program. Um, this is going to have to include the private side now. And, and they're also gonna have to modify their sampling pool to meet the new tier levels. We recommend figuring out where you're starting from. It may not be as bad as you think, but you really have to know where your inventory is starting from, what your corrosion control treatment situation is, and then you can figure it out and we can move forward from there. We've developed a customized tool that helps to break down the revision requirements uh, based on your specific system. So you fill out a short questionnaire, and once you submit this, you obtain a customized report, and this is gonna help you focus on the specific requirements of the lead and copper rule that apply to your system. We've also been developing specific content. We currently have a webinar on there about the Newark Lead Service Line Replacement Program, and that's something you can stream for a PDH credit. We have several articles focusing on different parts of the new rule, and we also have resources that help with things like finding funding sources for private site replacements. And if you have any questions, you know, please reach out to us at water at cdmsmith.com. You know, the data that utilities have been collecting for the past 30 years under the lead and copper rule will not provide all the answers that are gonna be needed to know if you're going to be able to comply in with the new requirements, primarily because the sampling locations will have changed and primarily because there is going to be this a lower trigger level. The new regulations have a 10 part per billion trigger limit. And then there are new sampling requirements, which if you have lead service lines, you're gonna to have to collect samples from the fifth liter in a premise plumbing versus the first liter. The fifth liter is intended to capture water that is in contact with the lead service line. And the lead service line obviously poses a higher risk of having higher lead levels than the current first liter. So if you combine those two new requirements, a lower trigger limit combined with uh, taking a sample from a higher risk location, uh, there are many systems who right now may not have a problem, but could have a problem under these new protocols.